Hey guys, it's Marco again. In today's video we'll be looking at the very powerful, very beautiful Venture Mage build, which has the biggest solo target damage output of all Arcane Covenants and Legendary Powers. It is our DPS and Kyrian Arcane Mages on solo targets by a very small margin, but when it comes to Cleave it is losing to Kyrians. The build is revolving around Siphon Storm Legendary and my channel is revolving around you guys pressing that like button and subscribing. So smash those buttons the same way we will smash Sylvanas. Back to the topic. Siphon Storm build is pretty nice, since there isn't a lot of RNG involved with Ventir Arcane and consistency is the key for progression. I haven't covered Siphon Storm in any of my other Arcane Mage videos, since it wasn't as powerful in the last patch. I think that it kinda got overlooked. So how to do a proper opener and every other big burst with this legendary? The opener is pretty simple and your every big burst phase is going to be the same as the opener. The most important thing is to cast evocation before using both rune of power and arcane power. So you will be regening mana before the pull when you are at 100% mana, which is a bit weird for the most of you, but the intellect buff is going to be active through both rune of power and arcane power and you will just go into big mana saving phase after the burst. So here is how you should properly do the burst spell by spell. Let's say that the pull timer is 12 seconds. You may want to cast arcane explosions at this point before the pull to gain clear casting stacks. And you should also use this one immediately after you drop rune of power since there is a high chance that your clear casting stack will drop otherwise. But this is purely optional for a bit more DPS if you are lucky with RNG. You can also use mirror images before the pull for a bit more damage, but you don't need to, it's a super small DPS boost and you can use this for a defensive cooldown. 7 seconds before the pull use evocation, let it channel and 1 second before the pull use arcane orb. At pull use time warp and summon rune of power followed by arcane blast spam. I blast until I have 3 to 4 seconds left on rune of power, then I throw mirrors of torment followed by two arcane blasts and arcane barrage. Then after it I cast out the magi, followed by instant arcane power together with arcane missile spam. Also I like to put in few arcane blasts into the touch of the magi when I spend my clear casted arcane missiles, since they don't have travel time and I use presence of mind to fit one more additional arcane blast in touch of the magi. But you don't have to do this if you're expecting a lot of movement soon. So after touch of the magi I continue spamming arcane blasts, clear casted arcane missiles, all until my arcane power is over and at the last second of arcane power I throw arcane barrage and go into my conserve phase. Just remember that you should use your cooldowns as soon as they get off cooldown. So you can repeat this whole process 90 seconds into the fight. So 30 -ish seconds after saving mana your rune of power is off cooldown, you will use it then and a bit later you're using touch of the magi. It's a bit cringy not to use them together, but otherwise your cooldowns will be clunky for the big burst. Here's a small opener demonstration. And that's it for this video, thank you for watching, if you came this far in the video, please do check out my Twitch channel and Patreon, linked in the description. Thank you and until next time, take care.